Thanks, Tucker. Hans von Sp uh, Spakowski is a former member of the Federal Election Commission. He's a senior legal fellow at the Heritage Foundation in Washington, and he joins us tonight. Hans, thanks for coming on. Sure. Um, so if it turns out that the Obama campaign received this data, that would be an in-kind contribution, correct? It is, because it's very valuable data. And in fact, the uh, former media director for the Obama campaign said that Facebook actually came to their offices and said, uh, well, we don't normally give this data out, but we're going to let you have it because we favor your campaign. That turns it into potentially an illegal corporate contribution. Well, how would that not be illegal? How would that not be a crime? Well, you know, if, if they made this data available to anybody who wants it, well, then, of course, uh, any campaign could get it. But the fact that they uh, uh, specifically had rules against this uh, does make it an in-kind contribution. Contrast this with what they did with Cambridge Analytica. Remember Cambridge Analytica, when they found out about this, they went to Cambridge Analytica and said, uh, you need to destroy this data. You're not supposed to have it. And that shit tells you that uh, in the one case, they let the campaign have it. In another case, they were saying, well, no, you're not supposed to have this data. So Facebook, but also Google and Twitter and Apple, the big tech companies, could right. easily throw an election. And we wouldn't know it. And so we should be terrified of this. I don't think we're terrified enough. But what is the U.S. Congress, what are the appropriate agencies in the executive branch doing to make sure that these huge companies who have more power than any companies have ever had in human history right. are remaining transparent? I mean, we're, we're certain this is not happening. What are they doing to reassure us of that? Well, for example, in, in the case of uh, the Obama campaign, potentially uh, getting a corporate contribution, which is illegal, that ought to be investigated by the Federal Election Commission, where I used to be a commissioner, because it's a potential violation Is of federal being? law. Uh, I, no idea whether they are going to open up investigation. Potentially, also, the U.S. Justice Department could investigate it, because if it was an intentional and knowing violation of the law, that takes it from being a civil violation to a criminal violation. So both of those federal agencies have potential jurisdiction over this. So far, uh, no one has said uh, at any of those agencies that they're going to open up an investigation. That's what they ought to do, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, if you if have lunch with any of your friends, encourage them. I, I will. will do that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Facebook is the only company with a big political effect, and politics isn't the only way tech is hurting America. Not by far. Next week, we're spending all week on a special series on what big tech is doing to you, your children, our culture, this country, our politics. It's changing all of those things, and we should know how, and we're going to tell you how.